which brings us to a very non-controversial topic around the world, and that is immigration. We don't use the word immigration anymore in America. I'm not sure what they do in other countries. The word is now migrant. It's not immigrant. It's migrant. Now, come out of the trance. Come out of the trance. You get the mainstream media scre screaming, what's wrong with people immigrating to this country? There are, this is a country built on immigrants, if we're talking about America. Well, that's good. Then why do you make it so hard for somebody to immigrate legally? Mr. Mainstream Media, Mr. Politician. Why is it easy to cross the border illegally, but it's almost impossible to come in legally? Why does America not want the person who has a college education, who has plenty of money, who's going to come to this country and start a business, or come to this country and has a six-figure job waiting for them? They're college educated. They have plenty of money. They're going to be a great value in addition to our society. They want to learn English. They want to become an American they, or whatever country they're immigrating to. They want to blend into this culture. They're proud, but it takes them two, three years, if at all, and you make them go through hoops of flame. But why is it, is it so, so desirous to have somebody come across the border from Mexico who comes from mainland China or Nicaragua, who doesn't speak a word of English, who has, doesn't have two nickels to rub together, who has no education, no skills, why do we want that person? And why do we say, come, come on in, come on in, no problem. You don't need to fill out any paperwork. You, don't have, you can break the law. You don't have to do that. Just come on in. But if the person comes across the Canadian border from Canada, or they're coming in to JFK from Germany, and they go, I have a master's degree and a PhD, and I have a job as a professor, no, we don't want you. As a matter of fact, the fact that you said that you're going to come here and work, we're deporting you, and now you can't come into America for five years. It makes no sense. We got 30 to 50 million illegal people in the United States. It's all over the world that's happening. There's a, I'll talk about the reason why this is, but I just want to give you two, two little tricks on this. Number one, the majority of people come into this country illegally. They work here and they send the money that they earn or percentage back to their poor country. They're pulling it out of, whether it's America, they're pulling, if, they, if it's England, out of England, whatever country they're immigrating to, Italy, they're pulling it out and sending it back to Nigeria, Somalia, Mexico, Guatemala, uh, Nicaragua, China, wherever, because they came from poverty and that American dollar is worth huge amounts of money over there. That's not good for the uh, American citizens. It's not good for... Anybody who's living here, it's not good for our infrastructure or our government because all the money's leaving. It's just not good, which is why we have no cash. One, one of the reasons we have no cash. And there's a lot of other negative reasons for that as well. Why is illegal immigration so prevalent all over the world? Because all over the world, there are people who life, whose life sucks. They live in poverty. They live in horrible conditions. They live with horrible governments. And they think, if I can leave this country and I can go to Italy, or if I can leave this country and go to Germany, if I can leave this country and go to Norway or Sweden or the UK or America, once I get there, they will take care of me. The government will give me a credit card. They'll give me $2,000 a month. They'll give me a cell phone. They'll give me food. They'll give me a place to live. And then I can work, get a job, start earning my, my, my pay, send money back to my family, and then they'll illegally come, and then we can have a better life. For most people, that's their plan. And you have to, you know, pour your heart out to those folks. There's a lot of criminals that are coming in, too, just for the idea of saying, hey, this is a great new market for us to operate a crime ring. And we know that, too. Okay. But the majority of people coming in, the illegal migrants, the illegal people coming into these countries, that's what they're looking for. Why didn't countries or like America have a problem with illegal immigration back in the day. 
Why didn't it cause a problem? Because, because America said, anybody in the world come to America, we need workers here. And you'll go to Ellis Island, if you're coming in through New York, and just come on in. And these people had a bag, and that was all their possessions. They had two nickels to rub together. They didn't speak English. They didn't have an education. They were laborers, and they came to America. Why was that good then and not so good now? The difference is those people came not for a handout, not for, hey, I'm going to get $2,000 a month from the government. I'm going to get a free cell phone. I'm going to get a place to live. I'm going to get uh, food. I'm going to get health insurance. I'm going to get medical care. No, those people knew that when they came to America, they were going to be given nothing. They knew when they hit Ellis Island and they went through all those turnstiles and the person said, stamp, you're now in a welcome to America. And the person lit up and cried and said, now I am in the land of opportunity. I left Germany or France or Italy or Ireland where we were starving because of the potato famine. And now I have nothing, not a nickel to my name. And I have to go and find a place where I can sleep. And maybe tonight I'll sleep in the park. Maybe I'll sleep in a room with nine other people, which is what they did. And I will work. They didn't steal or rob. Yep, some of them did. We know that. But the majority said, I will work. Because back then, they had a sign. And it was different than the signs of people today that are on the street corners. The signs of people today, give me money. I don't have any. I'm a diabetic. It's always the same. I'm a diabetic. Give me money. You know what the sign was back then? Will work for food. See the difference? When I see that guy up there holding up the sign, I roll down the window. He comes over. I go, hey, today's your lucky day. Are you hungry? Yes. Terrific. I have a job for you. And will you work for food? And he just, they don't even respond. They're disgusted with you for even suggesting that they have to work for money. They just, and they just walk away. That's the difference. Quality of the person. So why are all these people allowed to just float in? How come the government doesn't stop it? By the way, it'd be really easy to stop. I didn't give you the simplest way in the world to stop any type of illegal immigration in any country in the world. It's super simple. You don't have to build the wall. You don't have to build the wall at all. You don't have to even have any agents at the border. It doesn't matter. All you have to do is tell everybody, hey, if you come to America and you're not here legally, no problem. But you just can't live because here's what's gonna happen. Number one, if you go try to rent a car, the rental car agency says, I can't rent you a car unless you prove to me you're in the country legally. And if you can't do that by showing me a passport, a passport that's stamped that you're in the country legally or a US passport, I can't rent you a car. Sorry, next. And then if you go try to rent a, ho uh, a motel room, a motel room, Motel 6, Holiday Inn, hide like a room. Just like when I was in Switzerland, I walk into the Hyatt, hide like a room, passport, what do you want to see my passport for? I have to make sure you're in the country legally. I go, what? Yeah, we can't rent you a hotel room unless you're in the country legally, unless you can prove that. What a simple system. So if a person in America can't rent a, a motel room, can't rent an apartment without proving they're in the country legally, oh, by the way, if you do rent that person, you go to prison, which is why uh, countries that have this, it works. And then if you go get a job, hide like to uh, have a job. No problem. Want to be a busboy? No problem. Want to wash dishes? No problem. Want to do landscaping? No problem. I need to see uh, your papers. I need to see you're in the country legally, and since you want a job, I also need to see your work permit. Oh, you don't have one because you're in the country illegally? I can't hire you because if I do, I go to jail. Next, please. And then if you walk into the DMV, hi, I'd like to get a driver's license. Sure, no problem. I need to see that you're in the country legally. If you're not, I can't give you a driver's license. Next, please. 
Then go to a bank. Hi, I'd like to open up a bank account. We'd love to open up a bank account for you. We want your business. Uh, papers, please. We need to see you're in the country legally. Oh, I don't have those because I'm in the country illegally. No habla. Sorry, can't open up a bank account. Next, please. Guess what would happen if that was implemented? 50 million people would leave America tomorrow. Now, that's not a good thing. Actually, that would actually be a catastrophe. I'm going to be a human catastrophe for the people that would have to do that. So it's a, it's a colossal problem. But why do politicians actually want? And oh, by the way, not just, I know some of you out there are conservative Republicans, and some of you are liberal Democrats, and I love you all, I am neither. I am an independent arbiter of the facts who is a former insider. Why do liberal Democrats and conservative Republicans both desperately want millions and millions of illegal immigrants pouring into the United States? And this is the same, by the way, all over the world, no matter what country you live in. Here's the reason. The liberal Democrats want all these illegals to come in because they believe that they will vote ultimately for them. And if illegal immigrants come into America, they will have lots of children, which generally is true. The uneducated have more kids than the college graduates. So the more uneducated that are coming in from spe specifically Latin American countries vote overwhelmingly more for liberal Democrats at all levels of government. So that's why liberal Democrats want them in. Get them in and let's try to get them citizenship or at least voting rights, and then we'll always be in power for the rest of eternity. There'll only be one party in America, liberal Democrat party. So why do the stupid conservative Republicans want them in? Because they're short-term thinkers, not long-term like the liberal Democrats. The, the stupid conservative Republicans are very short-term thinkers, and they're thinking, all these businesses that donate to my campaign, they all hire illegal immigrants. Like every restaurant has illegal immigrants working there, right? Every landscaping company is full of illegal immigrants. Every food manufacturer, whether you're Tyson Food in Arkansas or whether you're uh, Driscoll Berries in California, if there's fields going on and they're out there picking, guess what? They're all illegally here. So these big companies that are pouring money to the Republican Party as well as the independent Republican candidates are going, look, I'm going to give you a lot of money, but don't stop the illegals from coming in, for God's sakes. Who the hell is going to work in the fields and pick the berries? So that's why you have all these people pouring in. We're telling you the things that they don't want you to know that will make your life better.